Hi, everybody. My name is Matt Krupp, and I'm a cognitive psychologist at Brooklyn College. And I'm going to be your professor for uh, Psych 2530 this fall, 2023. Our course is going to be asynchronous online. And this is a short video for the getting started section of the course. I think it should be about 15 minutes long. Hopefully I can get it under that. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and let's check it out. So we're looking at the welcome introduction screen to our course. If you found the course website through Blackboard, looks something like this, you might've clicked the learning modules and found uh, the getting started section that we're on right now. And uh, the purpose of this section is for you to familiarize yourself with how the course will go. So read the syllabus, watch this uh, recording. The slide decks that I have for this are right here. And uh, when you see this website, you'll see a, a link to this video. And then once you're done, uh, complete the quiz and short introductory post on Blackboard. So let's get into it. I'm going to uh, take a look at the, go to the slide deck here and give you this presentation. All right, so here's what we're going to talk about. Uh, a general overview of what this course is about, some course resources available to you, a little bit of a review of the syllabus and logistics for this course, and uh, what to do when you have questions. So the purpose of this course is it's an introductory course. It covers the very big question, what is cognition and what is cognitive psychology? We will look at questions that have been considered about the, this topic in the literature. We'll look at the methods that cognitive psychologists use to answer questions. We'll uh, take a look at a lot of different findings that we know about how cognition works from the last hundred or so years of research. Uh, a big focus is on how cognitive psychologists explain how cognition works. There's two more on this list. One of them is applications of cognitive psychology and its theory and findings for society, as well as general implications for society. So these are the six major themes we'll be talking about across the semester. I'm not gonna get into the course content here too much. We'll reserve that for the first learning module. All right, let's get into course resources. We're gonna be using Blackboard uh, in this course. We're gonna be using the course website, which is what we're looking at right now. And we're gonna be using the course textbook. For Blackboard, we will use this for course announcements. So please make sure that your email is up to date so that you're getting these announcements. Blackboard also contains weekly learning modules. And these learning modules give instruction on what to do each week of this course. Every week in the course, I'll also be sending out Blackboard announcements to keep us all engaged and remind us where we're at in the course. Each weekly learning module will have some stuff to do, some stuff to read, quizzes, assignments, and potentially some assessments. Most of the time, the learning modules will link to content that's on the course website. Uh, we'll also use Blackboard for other functionality like using the discussion forums. So for example, if you have a question, you could go to the discussion forum on Blackboard right now and uh, ask your question and I'll try to reply to you or maybe another student will reply to you. We'll also have discussion forums for engaging in conversation about the content in the course. All right, let's talk about the course website. Uh, here's the link to it, worldwideweb.promplab.com slash cognition. This website is linked to uh, in Blackboard. We can take a look at this real quick. Let me see if I can just, I'm gonna, oh, actually I already loaded it up. It's, Go there. Okay, here it is. Here's the website. Uh, you will be able to find your syllabus here. There's a link to the textbook 
And this is a free open educational resource. There's a link to all the learning modules we'll be, we'll be doing across the semester. There's links to the slide decks for everything and uh, links to all sorts of stuff. So we'll see this website a lot and you should know that it's available to you. All right, so these are some of those things that it has. And um, I briefly showed you the textbook. Here's the link and you can get it from the course website. It's, a, it's free to you. It's an open educational resource that I wrote actually. And uh, so it's available as a web book. You can read it on the web. You can read it on your phone. You should be able to download each chapter as a PDF or EPUB if you wanna read it that way. And uh, it's still in progress because I'm the one who authored it. So I'm constantly updating it and trying to improve it. So if you have things that you think could be improved in the textbook, just let me know. All right, let's take a look at some of the other resources that we'll be uh, using across the semester. Uh, sometimes we'll have additional reading material that's not from the textbook. And this will also be free to you. Usually this will take the form of primary research articles or review articles from the literature, and they'll be posted on Blackboard. All right, section three, the syllabus and general logistics for this course. Please read the syllabus. There's a link to the syllabus right here. Uh, we could click it and go read it right now, but I would like you to read it so that you have an idea of what's going on with the syllabus. Uh, the most current version of the syllabus will always be located on the course website. We can jump over there real quick. Uh, how about I drag this link and then we can check it out. See if I can make it a little bit bigger. One uh, yeah, so we're, it, this should explain what's going on. We've got a course schedule, tells us what we're going to be doing each week. And um, how learning modules are structured, how assignments work, how, the, how grading works. And I'll talk about that in a little bit. We've also got how points are convert, converted to letter grades and uh, lateness policies and all sorts of stuff, whether or not you can use ChatGPT in this course. Um, I'm allowing you to use this tool. However, if you ever use this tool or a similar generative AI tool to help you with an assignment, you are required to explain how you use the tool at the end of the assignment. Um, there's some acceptable use cases that are covered here. And there's some unacceptable use cases. So make sure you understand this. Make sure you understand the uh, academic integrity policy and what constitutes violating violations of academic integrity in this course. So that's a quick review of the syllabus. I do have a note up here at the very top that the syllabus is under construction for the whole semester of fall 2023. And that's because we might have to make some changes as we go along. Uh, we'll, any changes that are made will be announced and they'll be good changes. They'll be the kind of changes that will improve how the course works. So that's the syllabus. Here's the really kind of course in a nutshell, if we can. There's 15 weeks in the semester. 13 of these weeks involve learning modules where we'll cover different areas and concepts in cognitive psychology. Two of the weeks will involve uh, what I'm calling assessments. These are self-assessments where um, we use them to help structure our goals and what we're trying to accomplish uh, during this semester. So these are pretty low pressure types of things. Here's where your grade comes from in this course. Uh, most of it, 85 points out of 100, come from weekly coursework. There's a, uh, well, there's a lot of different things you can do on a weekly basis, and there's a lot of flexibility, so you get to choose what you want to do. Um, the idea is that every week you'll be completing quizzes or writing assignments for 
between you know 2.5 to 5 to 8 points is you, you basically get to do as many as you want so you have to choose how many you want to do uh, and that's it weekly coursework uh, there's also 15 points across the semester that come from these assessments. And uh, more information about these assessments will be announced on Blackboard as we near their dates. But uh, don't be scared. These are not exams and these are not, these are um, self-assessments involved in helping you set goals for the course and achieve those goals. So at the end of the course, basically you're going to uh, look back at your goal setting and try to figure out if you met the goals that you set for yourself. Uh, when we look at a weekly learning module, uh, here's how that's gonna go for the most part. There's a pattern, every weekly, learning moder mo every weekly learning module has a similar pattern. They're gonna be posted weekly. If I can get them up earlier so that you can work ahead, I will try to do that for you. We can post on Blackboard um, and on the course website. Each weekly learning module will include readings and um, quizzes and assignments and supplementary lectures. The idea is that you'll do the readings, you know, engage in uh, watching or listening to some of the supplementary material. And then you'll complete coursework, such as quizzes and assignments, within the module week and submit by the due date. We're going to use Tuesdays as a major day in the course. So most of the work or for a given week, um, if we're doing a learning module, you'll have that week and everything will be due the next Tuesday. The late work policy is very simple. Uh, you need to hand in your work by the due dates. And if you don't, then your late work may not be graded. I'm, I'm gonna allow you to hand it in, but I may not be able to grade it. Uh, so this is, a due date system that works for both of us helps you contribute work towards the class on a weekly basis so it doesn't all pile up at the end. And it helps me also complete grading uh, on a, in a timely fashion so that I'm uh, that it's, it's possible for me to do this. There's only one of me and there's uh, up to 130 of you in this course. So that's pretty exciting um, and we're going to use this due date system uh, for the course. I'm, um, what, what am I, let me think for a second. There's uh, lots of opportunities to make up for any missed assignments in a future uh, learning module. And I want to emphasize this on the next slide. So lots of assignment choice. Every learning module has uh, multiple possible assignments. Every learning module has a quiz. Usually that's 10 multiple choice questions. The quiz in total is worth about 2.5 points towards your final grade. You can take the quiz as many times as you want. So that's an easy way to get 2.5 points and it could help you learn some of the material. There's usually also at least one or two writing assignment options. Writing assignments are worth five points. And you could choose to do one or both or none. And whatever ones you choose to do, those uh, are that's how many points you can get. So you choose which assignments you want to complete. Uh, you can make a total of 85 points towards your final grade with this weekly coursework. Right? So if you you know miss something on learning module two, you're like, oh, I really want to, to make that five points from that thing I missed. You could do another thing, an additional thing in some later learning module. So don't sweat missing, uh, you know, one or two things, but you got to stay on top of this stuff. 
I guess I'm repeating myself. If you miss an assignment, that's okay. You can do an extra one in a future module. The assessments. There are three major assessments worth five points each. They're self-reflective. They're used to collaboratively set and achieve goals for engaging with the course material. And uh, they're low pressure and we'll talk more about them on Blackboard. So don't worry about those just yet. Another thing to be aware of is this um, concept of grading or ungrading. Except for the optional weekly quizzes, all of the assignments and major, self, uh, major assessments are self-assessed by you. So when you submit a writing assignment, you will also be asked to recommend how many points you get for the assignment, as well as explain why you should get that many points. At the end of the course, uh, there'll be a process whereby you give a recommendation for your final grade in this course based on how you completed the coursework. And I'm the instructor here. I will be making final grading decisions, but I will be strongly considering your self-assessments in these grading decisions. Uh, that said, if you use, uh, are using the point system and on Blackboard, it's gonna tell you how many points you get for everything that you submit. Um, all you, you know, the, the grade at the end of the course is going to be uh, based on, you know, it could be based on your self-assessment and, and it certainly would be based on the number of points that you have. So if we go back to the syllabus here and if Blackboard says that you have 85 points then you just go down here and try to figure out where 85 is. There it is, it's a B. If you had 95 points, that's an A. So um, I'll definitely respect your points when it comes to grading. You won't get a lower grade um, than what your points allow. All right, let's talk about academic integrity for a second. The main thing here is that it's your responsibility to understand the CUNY Academic Integrity Policy. Review the syllabus if you haven't read this policy. It's also important that you conduct your behavior according to a high standard of academic integrity. And you know this course is really about you doing the work for this course. The more you engage with the course content, the more you're going to get out of it. All right, that's all I have to say for the getting started module. Uh, if you have further questions at any time throughout this course, uh, you can email me, but also please use the discussion board on Blackboard to ask general questions about the course. Uh, other students might have the same question you have. It'll help me uh, you know, give an answer that everyone might learn something from by responding to forum posts on the discussion board. If you have something that you don't wanna post on that public forum that everyone can see, feel free to email me. Please put Psych2530 in the subject line and here's my email address. Okay, we've now finished this uh, getting started Lecture, I guess, mini lecture. And so what did you do now? If you're, if you're uh, just finishing this, then uh, what you should do is take the quiz on Blackboard for this learning module, and then complete the introductory post assignment. Both of those things are worth 2.5 points towards your final grade. Once you're done with that, go ahead and start with the very first learning module uh, learning module one, what is cognition? That's it for now. Uh, signing off until next time. Oh, I um, need to figure out how to sign off by stopping the record. And I'm going to do that right now. <laughs>